Right, if you can see these capacitors on the front, but this one here, if you notice, there's uh, the base of the capacitor. Oh, let's get it back again. The base of the capacitor is all swollen up. So I would think these are probably in the volume tone circuit, I would have thought. Um, I will look them up, but uh, I did just check one capacitor back here when I had the module out because uh, it's a bit tricky to get out with the module in place, but uh, that one's fine, it's a 400 microfarad. So what I'm going to do now is just check these capacitors just to make sure they're alright, because there's no point doing all that work to a set and leaving uh, dodgy old capacitors in. Let's just go back out a little bit. So uh, it's all these blue ones really that, that I'm going to look at. This is one there, 16 microfarad by the looks of it. Another 16. Little 2.5s down there. 200. So yeah, definitely that one's going to need to be changed. 10 microfarad, no 16. So uh, I'll have to see what I've got close to that. So join me again in a minute and uh, we'll pop this one out and have a look. Okay, yeah, I have replaced a couple capacitors. Um, something I'm reluctant to do because they're actually not some... Um, not really showing any problems electronically, but it's just the fact that the end here is a bit swollen on this one. And looking at the circuit diagram, just, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but um, TR1, both of these capacitors rest on the emitter going down to earth, so uh, they're paired together so I've changed them both. Um, let's pop it on the ESR meter just let you see what it's doing. So this is the second one that I took out. So really that's showing a capacitance of 20.54 microfarads so was 16 so that's not disastrous and 0.84 ohms ESR which again is not um, particularly high so really you'd think that was a good capacitor. Let's pop the other one in. And quite handy these little peak um, meters. I've got three of these diff different types. Okay so that one's um, slightly low but I mean that was pretty good 15.4 microfarads, uh, 1.4 ohms ESR. So, again, pretty good considering it's a 16 microfarad capacitor. That's um, pretty much there. 1.4 again is not excessive at all. Um, I haven't got a bridge to test them on, a capacitor's bridge, but um, in the interest of uh, longevity, I'm, I've changed them out anyway. So. Uh, Let's let you have a look what I've done. Let's get in a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, let's see a little bit closer. Let's bring the light over this way a bit. So what I've done, I've changed these two here. As I say, they're both on the emitter of uh, TR1 down to earth. And uh, I have turned the radio back on just to make sure that uh, me changing these hasn't upset anything. And uh, I didn't have any 16 um, microfarad, so I've put two 22s in there. Um, the other ones are rated at 40 volts, which, I mean, I think these are rated at 50 from memory. Let's have a look. 20, uh, 20, 25 volts, so again, more than enough really, but um, seem to work fine. As I say, the, the maximum voltage on this is, is 9, so no issues with that. As I say, still working fine. So uh, bear with me and I'll, uh, I'll have a look at a couple of the other capacitors just to make sure they're okay before we start uh, putting it all back together. Okay, welcome back. Um, so what I've done on this, I've gone through all the capacitors, I've had a look on the circuit diagram just to sort of ascertain whereabouts the capacitors are in relation to the circuit. Um, 
some I've changed because they don't look too special. Um, that's mainly uh, a couple of these 16 microfarads. These are both in the same circuit on the emitter of TR1. Uh, one is showing just over 20 microfarads and the other one is um, 15. ESR is different on both of them so as I say the bottoms are starting to swell out so I've changed both of those. Uh, this one I pulled it out. Um, I got some nice blue Philips 220 microfarads. This is a 200 so I've just popped one of those in just uh, just for the hell of it really. That one is, is a good capacitor still. This one, uh, this one was in the volume, volume uh, circuit. 2.5 microfarads, again reading about 2.7, that was okay but as I say I've got some, I got some 3.3 so I popped one of those in there. Now these two are the offending items. Let's just uh, get my little uh, peak meter out here, zoom out a little bit so you can possibly see the um, see everything all at once, let's move some bits around here let's get you down a bit closer okay hopefully you can see the display there <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up to this is a 200 microfarads at 6.4 volts. Let's connect this one up. Make sure the leads aren't touching. Push the test button. It's coming out at 294 microfarads. Um, so I have changed that one. I didn't have any 200s. Um, I had some 220s, but they were a little bit big, really. And um, what I've done on that is I've piggybacked two um, 100 microfarad capacitors in uh, parallel. As you'll see, just let me get that in the shot. Just there. I was trying to keep them all blue, really, in the uh, interest of aesthetics, but. Um, yeah, so just put two in parallel there, gives me exactly 200 microfarads, so I'm happy with that. And the other one that uh, we need to look at is this one. This is a little 2.5 microfarad capacitor. It is C18 on the schematic, and that is uh, on the collector of um, TR1. Uh, it looks like it's just uh, a decoupling capacitor of some description. But, um, let's connect this up and uh, look and listen. So let's make sure we can get a good picture there. So that's actually made a beep. <laughs> that basically tells me something's wrong. It's reading 2.6 microfarads, which is for 2.5 um, is pretty much bang on, but it's reading a very high ES, well not very high, but a high ESR of 12.6 ohms. Let's get the other one uh, that I took out of circuit in line as well, just to show you the difference. So that's again exactly the same size capacitor. So that's 2.7. Excuse me, at 4.8 ohms, so that one's okay. This one is shot. So I've replaced both of those with um, some 3.3s that I had. Let's zoom back out a little bit. Let's come in on this side of the board. Let's excuse my camera work. Uh, it's not the best, is it? Here we go. There we are. So you'll see the um, two capacitors I've changed. These two here. So that's C18 and that's C19. So I say I've tried to keep them blue. There is one other capacitor that ought to come out really. Um, it's up the top here. A 640 microfarads, I believe. 
reading uh, well over 700 so uh, I've got nothing like that unfortunately so I'm going to have to order one in for that but I will pop that one out but um, as you all hear now it's, uh, it is working fine so let's get a bit better angle in on the bench That's a long wave. Got my light on, so that's what that buzzing noise is. So it's picking up stations there. Quite um, quite sensitive actually, with good volume. So let's try medium wave. Don Armin in the line out. That's a third good throw from. Yeah, very. Do you think the, the fact of the vote is pretty well at the moment? They certainly have. All time low. I'm missing you on Radio 1. So they are. All working. That's pretty much the electrics done on this one. Um, all that's left now really is. Uh, refurbishing the case, getting it all back in and um, we'll see what it looks like. I'll take you through some of the steps of that as we go.